Tom asked what I was working on today. This is it. Just looks like a giant rectangle, but it's actually the frame to a gate. And you can see I used lap joints. What I did, since I didn't have a dado blade, is I just basically made the cut and then just made lots and lots more tiny cuts as I went along. So it took quite a while to take these out. And even if I had a dado blade, I have one of these little fold-up table saws, so it really doesn't have the room to fit a dado blade of any side size. It's not meant for something like that. So just had to get by with what I had, but it, it's fine. It worked. Got the job done, just took a little bit longer, but that I will be installing. I'll, I'll show you my other one. It's been broken and repaired so many times. This is the frame I have, and it's like instead of a 2x4, it's like a 2x2, two two, and I got the turnbuckle, but it's just broken so many times at this corner from being slammed and stuff. I'll open it here and show you. It's just kind of like all flexing. I don't know if I can get enough of a view to show you, but yeah, just it's ba basically the turnbuckle is all that's really holding the weight right now. The frame itself is, uh, well, you can see right here, see how it's moving around like that. So, just needs to be built a little better. I could probably, by being careful, get by this season with it, but why not, since I got the time, do it right. So this will just be the new frame, and then I'll just transfer the hardware and the um, upright fence planking over to it tomorrow. And then I also wanted to show you guys and Tom, these are my mounts I'm trying out. This is the mount for the GoPro. Although I'll probably remove this piece because this piece is for the GoPro facing sideways and I'm going to face it either front or back. And then this is the other mount my friend Mick from Australia, Salacious Shadow, sent me. And that's mounted there. I'm probably not going to use them both at the same time, but I figure, well, I might try out two different cameras. Try out the GoPro here and then try one or two other cameras here. So why not just have it on and have it attached? And then naturally, as I warn everybody when I do test this out, whatever cameras are here will not just be attached by these. It will also be attached by some other lanyard or something like that. It will have a secondary backup in case the camera should come loose. And I'll just tie it around somewhere else on the handlebar or somewhere in the upright here. So if the camera should decide to uh, fall off or come loose, it will just be dangling and I'll hear it swinging and banging around a little bit rather than have it skidding down the highway. And there's all the sawdust from today's job that i got to work on sweeping up. And that's about what has been going on for today. So, catch you guys later.